Women's Day and welcome everyone. This month of obviously is Women's Month. So from next week, Monday evening, we'll be having a I'll be having a discussion with four church ladies on um, four different topics of being a woman. So that will be on every Monday evening at 8 p.m. <coughs> um, we'll be sharing this. And I want you to tune in. I want you to share it. I want you to like it because maybe it can encourage you. Maybe it can give you some steps. Maybe it can give you some guidelines of being a woman. And also maybe if it's not for you, maybe it's for your friend or family. So please remember every Monday night at 8 p.m., starting from next week. So if you have not followed our page and you have not liked our page, please do so that you can get the notifications. All right, so I see we've got some ladies on there. We're doing this. Okay, so I just want to share with you a short word. So I'm not going to take up too much of your time so that you can go and have and relax and whatever. I also need to relax today because I'm a woman. All right. So, um, I want you to know how special you are as a woman. I know that we as women have a lot of stress. We go through physical pain. We sometimes are rejected. We go through abuse. We um, get tired. We have to multitask. We have to focus on everything. We have to, it feels like we have to juggle everything. And, um, yeah, and we are emotional and there's a lot of things on a woman. So I know being a woman can be sometimes just too much and I know people are sometimes there they say, oh, I just wish I could go to heaven because it gets just too much. But I don't want you to focus on the negative today. I don't want to focus, I don't want you to focus on um, your circumstances now or your past. I want today to encourage you to look and see from a different mindset of being a woman. So you know how special you are, that you are the only one that can give childbirth. You are the only one that can carry a baby for nine months. You are the only one that can breastfeed. You are the only one that can produce milk. You are the only one that has body or a body parts that men desires and that attracts men. You are the only one that can wear a bikini, a two-piece, top and bottom. You are the only one that can wear two pieces of underwear. That's special, top and bottom. So you are unique. You are special. And you were created by the best designer in the whole world. He made you, when he designed you, he made you, no, there's no copy of you. You are the only one. No one can copy you and no one can redesign you. You are the only one. God created you as original. There's no other one. There's only one right day. There's no other right day. And I think if the world had maybe two right days, I think a lot of people might have run away. I don't know. So you either love me or hate me, but there's only one right day. And God created you as a woman. He planned and said, you are going to be a woman and there's only going to be one Marlene, one Carla. No copy, no other design of you. You are that one. So um, <coughs> that's how special you are. They also say, um, well, let me first go to Adam. He said, when God created Adam, God said, I'm going to create you a helpmate. And then God created us. He put everything in us. He put more time in us, more creativity, more ideas. He molded and shaped us when he created us. And then when he was done, he said, whoa, man, that was a good creation. That's why we are whoa, man, and not only a woman. Because God put everything he has, his creativity, his joy, everything he could have, he put it in, put it in us. When he created us as women. They say in Afrikaans, the last and lucky Lancaster. We were create, lo, created last. So Adam was first and then it was us. And we got the best. So I can say those things today because we celebrate Women's Day. So I'm not going to get um, too much sweat, holding, flack. Because I can say that today. 
they say um, that a baby girl develops faster than a baby boy. And when I had my two girls, a um, lot of girls were being born that, in that time. More girls than boys. But I think it's because we are so focused and we are so goal oriented when we put our mind on a thing. Yes, maybe stubborn, but when we saw that womb, we swam. No one could stop us. We just saw we go for that and you were born. Also, you are so special that even the world needs you. If it weren't for you, there won't be reproduction. The world even needs you. There won't be a population if it weren't for us, be it as a woman. So that's how unique and special we are. And that's what God created in us. And I think sometimes we don't feel that way and we don't see that way. And that's what I want you today to change your mind and say, wow, I'm a woman. And to be proud of it and to walk in dignity with it. Um, I just quickly... Um, yeah. So God wouldn't have created you if you were going to be trampled on. God would not have created you if you, if you don't have any meaning. God would not have created you if you don't have purpose. God would have not created you to be abused, to be a victim, to be rejected. He would have not created you if he thought that you would not be able to go through these circumstances. He would have not created you if he thought you are not going to be able to cope and overcome what you are going through. When God created you, he had a great purpose for you. He had a blueprint for you. He has set aside a plan for you. He decided the day and the time you were born. He decided you are going to be a woman. And within you, he created so much more with a blueprint that no one can take from you. A purpose that no one can fulfill, but only you can do that. And this morning, I want you to lift up your head and say, I'm proud to be a woman. Put up your shoulders straight. When you walk into the business or you walk into your workplace or in your house and in your, between your family and friends, be proud of who you are. Because you are a woman with so many things that no one else has. You are needed on this earth. God needs you. He's got a plan for you. That's why He created you. Because He needs you. He can't be without a woman. He needs you. And be proud of it. And for me, it was like, Lord, sometimes you are so tired and you, oh, why must I do this? Why must, it, you know, I must cook, I must bake, I must make children, whatever. But the thing is, there's a purpose for it. And God, He put so much in us. And if we don't appreciate who we are, we are actually saying, God, I'm not happy that you made me. And He was so happy when He created you. He put everything He has in you and now we like, Oh, I don't want to be a woman. I don't want to live. Why must I go through all these things? It's so hard. And I want you to change your mind and say, Rather, Father, thank you for making me so unique that the world needs me. Everyone needs me. No one can do what I can do. You made me special. And there's a blueprint set aside for me. You know what? We draw the flaws to ourselves. When God created us, He created us without any flaw. He created us and said, you're going to be blonde with blue eyes. You are going to be a brunette. You're going to be tall, short. You're going to have freckles and not freckles. You're going to have be big in front and big at the back or whatever. But God created you to be like that. And then when we look into the natural and we hear what the world says and what they portray, we decide, oh, it's a flaw of being short. It's a flaw to be too tall and we take that on unto ourselves that's not what God planned for us he did not say let me create a floor with Rodak no what he created me to be he was excited about it he's got a plan for me to do that to use it or to be the way I am but we take that floor and we make it our own and I want you this morning to say I don't care about the flaws it's not what God gave me. I took that by myself. If you've got going through menopause, if you've got gray hair, we're all going to get old. God created us to get old. He created us to have wrinkles. And if the fat is hanging from the arms, don't worry about that, girls, because God said that's going to happen. You know, so rather use it for God. 
lift up those arms and praise God and use those arms. You don't know what God made you, why you must have those fat around your body. But use it for the glory of God. You must be happy because He's happy. Don't worry about the floor. Don't worry about what people think. Walk in dignity. Be proud today. Celebrate today to be a woman. I want to share with you some scriptures. And I want you to see these scriptures as love letters from our Abba Father to you this morning. Or you can see it like this. You are the model and your client, these scriptures are your contract with them. Okay, so I'm going to put it in the comments, but then um, go, I want you to go and write it down and put it against your mirror or put it against in your cupboard. And every morning when you wake up and you feel like, look like me today, I had hay fever last night, so the eyes are all like a thick and swell. Then you look at those scriptures, those love letters that God signed and wrote to you so the first one is psalm 46 verse 5 that's your first love letter it says god is within her she will not fail god when he created you he did not put any failure in you he said that you are not going to fail. God is within you. He put himself within you. And he said, you are not going to fail. So no matter what you feel, I know that sometimes you get bad news, maybe with sickness or your physical body, and now you're waiting to hear, you know, is it cancer or not? You go through stress. I know sometimes you want to give your children a better life, but you don't have the ability. You don't have the finances. I know that sometimes you come to the end of the month and you say, where did my money go? Or sometimes you don't even know where it's going to come from. Or that month there are so many expenses, it comes from everywhere and you don't know how it's going to go. I know the, the feeling of, 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 of um, you know, not having, the feeling of stress and the feeling of, oh, I failed. But that's all us in the natural us having feeling that us thinking that we have failed us thinking that we are flawed but god's love letter to us is god is within her she will not fail you will not fail god has that blueprint he created you there's no one like you so he's going to fulfill that he's going to make sure that you are not going to fail so your second um, love letter is proverbs uh, sorry guys Proverbs 31 verse 25 and you must write these love letters down she is clothed with strength and dignity and she loves without fear of the future but first God says to you this morning she is clothed with strength and dignity God put inside of us strength although we feel we're not going to make it Although we might be in depression, although we might be alone, God says He has clothed us with strength. So when He created you and said, you are going to be a woman, He clothed you with strength and He clothed you with dignity. Do not be ashamed to be a woman. Do not be ashamed of being fat or short or tall. Do not be ashamed of being old. Do not be ashamed of being too thin. Because God gave you dignity. He clothed you with dignity. And this is what I want you from today on. Every morning, stand up and when you feel like you are in a low, say, no way. I'm a woe man. I have strength. I have dignity. God is within me. I'm not going to fail. I have a blueprint. I'm so special that not even the world can be without me. And that's the way you face your circumstances. That's the way you face this world and face people. If they want to come and say something to you that's negative, you look to them and say, listen, if it went for me as a woman, you might not even be here. So I have dignity. I will not listen to those negative words. And you carry on. Lift yourself up. You are more worth than being trampled on. Right, the next um, love letter is Song of 
song um, uh, song of songs song of songs chapter 4 verse 7 is your next love letter and it says every part of you is so beautiful my darling the Lord is saying to you this morning you are beautiful my darling you are his darling so if you've got no one else or if you're not your husband's darling it doesn't matter because you're Abba father your designer says you are beautiful my darling and then the scripture goes further he says perfect is your beauty without flaw within you and there God is writing a love letter to you and he's saying you've got no flaw within you you took on that flaw that you think you have today God did not create you with flaw he created you beautiful he created you with strength dignity he's within you with a blueprint he's so proud of you when you walk around he is happy he's your um, Abba Father and he created you beautifully without flaw I just missed their part in Proverbs 31 verse 25 sorry I just need to go back that says and she will laugh without fear of the future I want to tell you this morning ladies we need to laugh I love laughing my friends and I gather myself mostly with people that make me laugh I love laughing that's why I've got so much wrinkles because I laugh too much actually I love laughing so I want you to laugh today man get into laughing spirit and do not fear for the future for tomorrow um, I know that's also a difficult one but laugh about it and that's why I want to change your mind this morning with these love, love letters God is saying to us laugh do not fear he's saying that we are beautiful we do not have flaw he has closed up with strength and dignity he's within us I mean that is so much power God has given us so much power as a woman this morning and that's why we need to celebrate it don't look at the negative don't see yourself as you see yourself in the mirror uh -uh. you take these love letters you write them down and you speak it over yourself from today on and you use it as a weapon for yourself right the last scripture last love letter is Proverbs and I know everyone knows this one Proverbs 31 verse 10 and it says you are worth four far more than rubies so you are far more worth than rubies far more worth than gold far more worth than any money far more worth you have so much worth and I think that sometimes we feel we are not worthy sometimes we feel we don't have any value sometimes we feel people don't see us they don't affirm us we don't get the credit for actually so much that we do but you know what we must find our worth in God and say God even though I don't feel it in my house even though if I don't feel it at my work or my business or wherever even if people don't see it it doesn't matter because they did not design me they did not create me if I if it was for them not none of us would be here but Lord I appreciate of being a woman I appreciate that you created me to be a woe man I appreciate that you clothed me with strength and dignity I appreciate that you think I'm beautiful and I appreciate that you think I'm worth more than rubies and you know what if God thinks this about us the one who created the whole earth then he will make sure that you are not gonna fail he will make sure that that blueprint that purpose set aside for you that you are gonna accomplish it he will make sure of it no matter what the circumstances is no matter how we see ourselves but today shake that off shake all those negative things off shake those flaws off get yourself re what? rearranged today is women's day and from today on celebrate to be a woman take care of yourself 
like taking care of your, yourself, you're saying, God, thank you. I appreciate that I'm a woman. I can put on makeup and put on makeup. Say, thank you, Lord, I can wear two pieces of underwear. And put it on with proud, being proud to be a woman. You've got something that no one else has. And take care of yourself. Cut your nails. Sometimes you can take care of yourself and it does not cost any money. And um, you can still look good. And that is not for yourself only, which is also a good thing. But that's also saying, thank you, Lord, that you made me a woman. And if you do have the money, then use it. Because then God blessed you with that money. Then use it to look more pretty or better, whatever. But always be grateful and thankful towards God that He created you. Do not try to change you. Remember, God made you with that nose and those lips and those eyes. Do not change it. You can become more beautiful and maybe use it. But always use it for the glory of God. Because if it's not for God, we would not be here. And appreciate who you are. Be proud of who you are. Celebrate being a woman today. So I hope this encouraged you. And I just want to quickly pray for you. And I want to bless you this morning as a woman. And um, that you can go enjoy your day further. So let's just quickly pray. So Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus, Father. And now this morning, I want to bring every woman to you, Lord, that's on this social media. But Father, even the women that are not, even the women that's going to listen to this video, maybe later, Father. I want to pray this morning, Lord, that you would bless them, Father. I want to pray, Lord, that you would celebrate them this morning, Father. I pray, Father God, that they will hear what you are saying about them. That they will take these love letters, Father, and make it their own, own, Father. I pray, Lord, that you will renew their minds. Father, I come against every negative word spoken out on every woman this morning, Father. Every flaw they see, Father. Every rejection. Every abuse, Father. Every victimized mentality, Father. We bind it in the name of Jesus. We cancel and break it over them, Father. I pray, Lord, that you would set them free this morning, Lord. Renew their, their minds, Father. I pray, Lord, that you would touch their hearts, that they will feel proud to be a woman, Father, that they will be grateful and thankful towards you, Lord, that you made us a woman, Father. You made us the way we are, Lord, and that we will realize, Lord, the way we are, that we will use that for the glory of God, being vessels for you, Father, uplifting others, Father, our husbands, our children, Lord, our friends, our family, Father, where we are, Father. Lord, I pray, Lord, that your presence will come upon them, Father, that as they walk, Lord, into their business, Father, wherever they go, even today, Father, that the atmosphere will change, Lord, that their heads will turn, Father, because they will just... Um, wear your presence upon them. They will wear your dignity upon them. They will wear your strength because your word says you clothed us with that. Father, I pray, Lord, that they will have laughter, Lord, and joy, Father God, and happiness, Lord. I pray for each and every one, for the blueprint, Father, for the purpose, Lord, that you set aside for them, Father, that it will come to fulfillment, Father. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you will open those doors. Send those opportunities, Father. Put the right people next to them, Father. I pray, Lord, that you would uplift their heads, Father. And take their hands, Father. And walk on this path and road that you designed and created for us, Father. I pray, Lord, that they will realize... The word woman is not only woman, Father. It's a woe man, Father. We have so much in that word, Father. And that they will stand like that, Father. Act like that, Father. That they will be walking, talking, witnesses, Lord, of the blessing of God, of dignity, Father, of purity, Lord. That they will be your bride, Father. And stand up, Father. For you, Lord, who created us, Father, who is our designer, who's got love letters written to us, Father, that they will stand up for you and not be ashamed of our Abba Father in the name of Jesus. So, Father, bless them today. Send your angels forth over them, Lord, wherever they go today, Father, in the name of Jesus. And, Father, if there's any circumstances, Lord, that they need to be taken out of, Father, 
that they need to be saved from, Father. I pray, Lord, by the authority given to me, Lord, that it will start today, that you will set them free. Take them now out, Father. Change it around, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, girls, ladies, go have a good day this morning. Please share this video. Um, enjoy your day. Um, you are blessed, and thank you for joining in. And I hope that you're going to have a beautiful day. And you know what? The sun is shining on our special day, Women's Day. So go and enjoy it. I love you lots and have a blessed day.